Hello, my dear students, grade 7 and grade 8 students at Sunny Valley International School. You are welcome. Today, we will revise chapter 10, respiration and breathing. Let's start the first question. The table shows the approximate composition of air breathed out by a mammal. Here in this table, you find gas and air breathed out percentage. Here for nitrogen 80%, for breathed out nitrogen 80%, oxygen 16, carbon dioxide 4%. Where does the nitrogen in the air breathed out come from? Here about nitrogen. From where it come from? Here it is product of proteins broken down in a mammal. Sure, no. Okay, proteins broken down during digestion to form amino acids and taken by uh, blood, okay? But not nitrogen gas re released by breaking down nitrogen in our bodies. So this is wrong. Here it is product of respiration. Lock please to this equation. This uh, represents aerobic respiration in our body cells. Here glucose and oxygen as reactants reacts to give carbon dioxide and water and energy here the products so he called in B it is product of respiration no nitrogen released due to aerobic respiration inside our cells so this is wrong also it is exchanged for oxygen which is taken into the blood sure not alternative oxygen by nitrogen and vice versa so this is wrong also what about the last one? It is in the air that is was breathed in. Yes, look. Here, in inspired air, the gases on the left column, <coughs> sorry, in inspired air percentage, expired air percentage, look, 79% nitrogen found in atmospheric air. It is inspired, it is taken in our bodies, but here, at expired air, also the percentage is still the same, 79%. There is explanation for this. Nitrogen in equal nitrogen out. So it is not used or produced by body processes. No processes releases nitrogen in our bodies. No processes use nitrogen as a gas in our bodies. So the percentage are equal in both in expired air and expired air okay look also so the answer is d okay look also to, to other percentage we need this percentage later on in further que questions oxygen 21 percent breathe the end while in expired air 16 only so the difference between 21 minus 16 equal about five percent taken or used up in respiration in our cells. What about carbon dioxide in atmospheric air? Equal 0.04 percent. So this is much lesser than the expired air, which equal 4 percent. Why? Because uh, carbon dioxide released due to respiration, released or produced in respiration. What about water vapor? Water vapor in atmospheric air and in inspired air variable differ from day to day, from time to time, according to humidity in the air. While in expired air, it is saturated. Breathe out in front of mirror room or kitchen or whatever. You, you find uh, uh, a lot of water vapor condensed to form liquid water. So you breathe the air out equal or means uh, it has a lot of water vapor inside why what is the explanation for this produced by respiration produced by respiration one of the products also moisture in the alveoli evaporates from the surface of of alveoli okay let's start number two number two here what helps oxygen to be absorbed rapidly into the blood in the lungs absorbed rapidly quickly into the blood in the lungs Air breathed in has less oxygen than air breathed out. Air breathed in has oxygen. Breathed in has oxygen 21. Breathed out equals 16. So here wrong. Letter B, alveoli have thick walls 
and large surface area yes it has large surface area but thick walls thick walls means oxygen take a lot of time to reach blood so this is wrong one look also as a figure look the alveolus wall here one cell sac only the barrier one cell sac the thickness of one cell only so oxygen in air rapidly diffuse due to uh, thin walls of alveoli also the thickness of capillary the capillary wall also one cell sac so oxygen have two passes only two cells cell of wall of alveolus like here and wall of black capillary so the answer alveoli have thin walls and the large surface area large sur surface area for what we have in our two lungs millions of alveoli if we spread out their membranes on the surface of table or in your flat for example it will cover the whole flat it may reach about 60 square meter as surface area it has large surface area and the thin wall so the answer c is correct okay what about d the concentration of oxygen in blood in blood equal now is higher than in the alveoli no in the blood coming to the lungs equal 16 percent only okay while in air 21 percent so this is wrong this is wrong okay let's start number three the diagram shows an experiment to investigate gas exchange in a leaf here test tube inside a leaf and they covered by black cover black cover so here no photosynthesis no light passing no light enter okay no light passing so no photosynthesis no photosynthesis no photosynthesis right now look please here certain chemical certain substance to absorb carbon dioxide carbon dioxide released from respiration of leaf cells co2 absorbed co2 absorbed by this chemical what about oxygen gas absorbed needed for respiration of the cells so number of oxygen molecules decreases also number of co2 gas decreases both are decreased both are decreased so the pressure of gases inside decreases the pressure decreases inside the design what about atmospheric pressure higher higher pressure higher pressure of air particles of oxygen or other gases in the air push the ink drop to the left side so in which direction does the ink drop move and for what reason and it pushed towards the left lock to the left so the answer a or b not c not d what about the reason huh the reason photosynthesis no photosynthesis why because there is black cover so no photosynthesis the reason now is respiration okay letter b let's start number four here some yeast yeast is a living organism belong to fungi unicellular organism like this one we put yeast some yeast cells okay with sugar solution sugar dissolved in water what happens to the cells it starts yes starts what starts respiration this respiration needed to release energy this energy used for yeast cells to divide and form young cells young yeast like this one like this one daughter of this one all of this called the buds growth of the cell due to they are present in enough food supply like sugar they respire to release energy needed for reproduction to increase their number so which process causes this change growth no reproduction no respiration yes 
this is the cause of respiration release of carbon dioxide gas bubbles here appear or froth so the answer is C number five number five what is the approximate percentage of oxygen in expired air I think we memorized now huh? approximate percentage of oxygen in expired air where is expired air here what about oxygen 16 okay 16 what about inspired in air huh? 21 the difference here equal 5% taken by cells in process of respiration so the answer is C let's start number 6 compared with atmospheric air air breathed out by human contains lock contains what what about water vapor look at water vapor inspired air atmospheric air with variable amount of water vapor hang in the air molecules as air molecules look at expired air expired air your breathed out air contains a lot of water vapor this not seen but you can see it when we breathe out in front of mirror a lot of water vapor condense into liquid water on the surface of a mirror okay so sure breathe out air contains more water vapor contains more water vapor so the answer either C or D not B not A okay what about what about uh, 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 carbon dioxide look at carbon dioxide for breathe out carbon dioxide contain 4% 4% compared to 0.04 so contain huh, more carbon dioxide in expired air more water vapor more carbon dioxide than atmospheric air than atmospheric air so the answer is D this is number six let's start number seven number seven here huh, what is produced by any aerobic respiration in yeast in yeast cells again yeast cells like this one okay huh. anaerobic respiration anaerobic means glucose is broken down without using oxygen lock the equation uh, glucose broken down without using oxygen where no air available for yeast in this case so it is it uh, produces ethanol ethyl alcohol or alcohol or ethanol as in name and the carbon dioxide bubbles and the energy as heat to use it in reproduction and vital process like cell division or uptake of nutrients what about lactic acid is released due to this process no no lactic acid so the answer not a not b from the first column huh? not a not b what about c lactic acid is not formed yes not for me, yes. So the answer either C or D. What about carbon dioxide release or not released? Lock released. So the answer must be C. Must be C. Okay. Let's start number eight. Here, what is the word equation for aerobic respiration? Aerobic means air is present in plants aerobic respiration in plants air is present oxygen is present so the equation must contain oxygen as reactant what is meant by respiration breakdown of nutrients like glucose in presence of oxygen to release energy look the answer huh. glucose broken down combined with, with oxygen inside mitochondria to release carbon dioxide and water and energy used by plant cells for vital activities so the answer glucose plus oxygen to release carbon dioxide and water so the answer is C okay this is aerobic respiration in plant cells plant respire 24 over 7 like you and me without stopping at any time okay plants exactly respire as you and me number nine here what are approximate percentage of oxygen and the carbon dioxide in atmospheric air this is atmospheric air inspired air atmospheric air 
the same okay what about carbon dioxide and oxygen oxygen for oxygen equal 21 or 20 yes here 20 yes right no difference between 21 or 20 about approximately here approximate percentage 20 20 so the answer c or detail now what about carbon dioxide in air in atmospheric air less amount 0.04 0.04 this number yes this number nearly yes so the answer is c okay number 10 which route is taken by air passing from lungs of human to the atmosphere okay the pathway of breathed out air from your alveoli now so we have to to start with alveoli with alveolus so the answer a or b not c not d okay look please trachea bronchi okay bronchioles then then ends with what alveoli look huh? from alveoli then bronchioles then bronchi then trachea so the alveolus the air passes through alveolus into what into bronchus then trachea bronchus here the pathway up passes through bronchus then trachea so the answer alveolus bronchus trachea so the answer is a okay let's start number 11 huh. during aerobic respiration glucose is broken down what is released in this process lock aerobic respiration so air must be present so oxygen must be present in reactants so glucose broken down in presence of oxygen into carbon dioxide water and energy what about carbon dioxide released or not released release so the answer a or b or c not d cancel d what about energy yes energy release the purpose is the role of respiration to release energy so here yes yes not c what about last item water water is released or not yes released so the answer is a okay now let's start number 12 what's approximate composition of the air breathed out by a person oxygen percentage now i think we memorize the table for the fourth time maybe here uh, air breathed out breathed out expired air what about oxygen in expired air? Huh? 16%. Yes. What about carbon dioxide in breathed air? Yes. 4%. So the answer is B. Okay. Number 13. Number 13. Which substances are produced by respiration in humans? Respiration in humans. Respiration in humans may be aerobic for all cells. But sometimes some cells like muscles do bring an aerobic respiration. Look please. Huh? That's for aerobic respiration. Oxygen is involved. What about carbon dioxide? Yes, carbon dioxide released. Answer A, B or C. Not D. Cancel D. Huh? What about uh, second column? Alcohol is released. No alcohol here no alcohol so the answer not a okay so the answer either b or c till now what about water huh? water is released yes released yes released so not c the answer is b till now what about lactic acid from where no lactic acid in this equation this aerobic respiration aerobic what about anaerobic for muscle cells huh? Glucose is broken without using oxygen and the lactic acid is reduced Okay, and the energy released so lactic acid Lactic acid is formed due to anaerobic respiration done by muscles During anaerobic respiration Okay, so the answer is B now Number 14 the ability shown is set up and left for one hour 
mixture of yeast, sugar, and water. What about uh, on the other test tube indicator solution? Uh, mixture of yeast, sugar, and water. They are doing what? Yeast cells respire and they release carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide released in this direction, in this test tube, capillary tube, and reach this liquid, this indicator. This tell us about the nature of the gas released due to respiration. Look, which indicator used? What is the indicator solution here? Huh? You know that lime water is used. Is used. Look, please. Lime water, when we use before the experiment, it is colorless solution. Colorless solution without coloring like water. What about if we bombing or passes the expired or the released gas from yeast respiration? Carbon dioxide turns clear lime water into turbid one, into milky or turbid one. Look, if we breathe out in this flask by straw, yeah. the lime water was clear at first, then become cloudy or milky. Okay, for several months of breathing out, our exhaled air inside lime water it turns milky or turbid or cloudy or choky. All of these items indicate presence of CO2 in our breathed air or due to respiration of yeast cells in glucose solution or sugar solution okay number 15 the diagram shows the breathing system yes breathing system not correct to describe the system as respiratory this is wrong this is breathing system breathing system is mechanical process physical process not chemical okay not chemical why respiration is chemical process where glucose combined with oxygen or broken down during equation of anaerobic respiration look please what are the label structures number one huh? number one yes trachea so the answer c or g what about two yes bronchus so here bronchus not diaphragm what about this one huh? diaphragm number three diaphragm so the answer is c Okay, look at this short video, alveoli, alveoli surrounded by network of black capillaries, bronchioles connected to alveoli, bronchus here, then trachea, in the reverse direction when air breathed out, we start from alveoli towards upwards, turn to 16. What is correct for aerobic respiration in muscles? Here, muscles, as you know, like all body cells, doing aerobic respiration. But during exercising, during the first few seconds of starting exercise, any type of exercise, muscles doing an aerobic respiration plus aerobic. Here, the question about aerobic. So the equation, like any cells doing aerobic respiration, we use glucose and oxygen. So nutrient molecules here, glucose, okay? Nutrient molecules, reactant molecules, glucose. This nutrients from food stuffs. So the answer A or B, not C, not D. What about oxygen used? Oxygen, yes, used. Why? Because here aerobic. So the oxygen used, yes. So the answer is B. Okay? Now, let's start number 17. What are the products of anaerobic respiration in muscles? Anaerobic, anaerobic, no air involved. Huh? No air involved. So the equation is different from previous question number 16. Look, glucose is used. Broken into lactic acid without using oxygen. No oxygen. What about the product now? Lactic acid and the energy. So lactic acid only is formed due to what? Due to respiration. Energy not considered a chemical. This is just energy. Just energy. Okay? Lactic acid only is formed due to anaerobic respiration of muscles. Okay? While in the previous one, look. 
lactic carbon dioxide and the water are formed here in anaerobic respiration huh? only lactic acid is formed now number 17 the equations represent chemical reactions that take place in living organisms which reaction releases the greatest amount of energy which one produces a lot of energy compared to the other aerobic or anaerobic which reaction produces a lot of energy look here comparison between aerobic and aero anaerobic respiration aerobic aerobic means air involvement so oxygen must be present reactants glucose and oxygen it, it is considered complete combustion complete reaction complete burning of glucose in cell cell complete so most of energy are released so high energy yield high energy yield from aerobic respiration why glucose completely broken down into carbon dioxide and water vapor what about where it takes a place aerobic respiration starts its first reactions in cytoplasm then completes the most of reactions in mitochondria the singular mitochondrion okay this is the furnace like furnace in your kitchen this is for aerobic what about anaerobic anaerobic respiration involves glucose only no oxygen so glucose is broken incompletely so a lot of bonds still present in molecules of lactic acid if this happens in animal cells or uh, muscle cells for example and in case of yeast ethanol is produced and the carbon dioxide okay what where uh, uh, it happens anaerobic respiration happens in cytoplasm of yeast cells and cytoplasm of animal cells what about energy released low energy so the greatest amount of energy released when we use aerobic respiration which equation which equation represent aerobic respiration and glucose plus oxygen gives out reacts to give out carbon dioxide and water so the answer is b okay number 18 the diagram shows substances moving into and out of living cell here glucose n oxygen n so glucose plus oxygen this is aerobic respiration what about products carbon dioxide out water out so this considered aerobic respiration okay yes glucose plus oxygen reacts to give carbon dioxide and water plus energy release this aerobic respiration number 19 the gram shows part of human gas exchange system where does the exchange of gases between air and the blood take place gas exchange between air and the blood look yes sure alveolus as a site of alveolus so the answer is c alveolus okay here one cell sec of alveolus here alveolus alveolus okay here blood capillary blood capillary okay capillary now the answer is c i think the last one which statements about aerobic respiration are correct aerobic respiration are correct lock this equation breaks down nutrients sure yes this nutrients broken the answer a or b not c not d what about releases energy respiration means process to release energy here energy released so the answer still a or b uses energy it uses energy or releases releases this product so the answer is a not b not b so the answer is a. okay thank you for watching i hope this video be benefit and useful for all of us thank you shabab good luck bye bye